Hey, what's going on boys? Back again. Literally just stopped filming for the introduction of the Sierra Crew Cab, but I wanted to take this time to show you guys that I actually have slowly been putting in work on the bagged Silverado Crew Cab. You know, just that way y'all don't think I'm just some lazy dude, you know, just out here milking y'all for the views, you know, like, so hopefully y'all know I've been struggling. I got a lot of projects, boys. I, man, look, this is one of the projects. It's another one of the projects. This one low key has been completed and I love it. I just try to keep it clean. As you can see, white walls and wheels is the only thing that's not really clean, but damn, that's a bad girl, let me tell you. So this one, I mean, it's a bad girl too, but she needs some work too. I hopefully can get juking on this, but the main goal is to get this one out of the garage so I can put this one in there and the Dayton's on there. Hopefully brothers, so. Oh yeah, and then this car, it was on the channel as well. This is just gonna be like pretty much a, a just full on channel update. 2010 Honda Civic, like LX or whatever. It was totaled out, brothers. Got a new fender on it, got new lights, LED bulbs, new coilovers all the way around. And I actually got the fucking Merc wheels on here, boys. So this is like a 16 by seven with like a real low offset, maybe like six or 12 millimeter. So yeah, boys, I mean, you could peep the figment. We're running, dudes. They poke out maybe like an inch or so, but absolutely gangster dudes. Look at that. And I uh, actually did throw the alignment blocks on it. Got her all squared up. And I mean, as you can see, I didn't roll the fenders or nothing, boys. So like back here, like we're literally like just killing the game, you know, like for my lady to drive around, bros, like it's wicked. Now we have yet to actually get it uh inspected so that it's you know not totaled so that it'd be a rebuilt or salvage or whatever but that's all right boys we are getting there slowly we have the merc tag on it for now and we are whipping don't tell nobody though same with this one we got the sea god plate on it which is actually from my bag truck but i neglected to get it renewed so that's expired brothers and i got it parked here on the street so shh, don't tell nobody but for now, I'm going to definitely pull these mirrors. Um, I guess I'll demonstrate for you how they look. Or not how they look, but how they light up and stuff. So easiest way to do that, come in here, smack those. So as you can see, brothers, they are indeed turn signal mirrors that don't want to focus. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it says here that they're heated or whatever that means. Um, not too sure what this is. Maybe it's supposed to be hooked to reverse lights. I don't know. But it also has the lights on the outside there. And I dislike them very much. So I'm going to practically give them away like 20 bucks, you know, to my homie. And I'll even install them on his truck for free. Well, actually not for free. I told him to bring some fucking Ronas, you know. But it is what it is, brother. So I'm going to get to doing that. To do it, you simply... I'll start right now actually I think this is how you do it I don't know I'm a noob but yeah so we pull this cover off here quite frankly we got this foamy boys in here so you just pull it all out brothers and then you're left with this here and you're gonna have three of these 10 mils so you essentially just loosen them up but we're gonna see if we can fish out our wiring hopefully the wiring is not all methed up or so I'm gonna be kind of sad bros but um yeah, so hopefully I'm able to pull the wiring out and it's, oh my god. It's like pulling on my... Alright, so this just turned into a fun project, but hopefully I can find the original pigtails so that I can put these mirrors. Let me take you on over. Don't even want to close that no more, but... Yeah, bro, so the truck is a little messed up, like I said. I got it from a guy who was missing several teeth and owned a lot of spray paint and nail polish and silicone or whatever. So, update on this truck. We have indeed pulled all the fenders off of it. Um, it is a little bit dark in my garage, but we got everything here. As you can see, we got our support trim, which is actually like literally like some, some trim that goes along the bottom of my basement bathroom. Either way, so... We had to pull the fenders off, brothers, because we have these wheels on this bad girl. You know, the blades are chopping, and they are some 24 by 10s with a very pretty aggressive offset. And uh, they have like 32 and a half inch tires, brothers. So that's the reason why, because it's got chopped springs. Either way, moving along, 
we have most of it knocked out bro as you can see we got our tank everything's all pretty much ready to go we got to fill the fuel cell with fuel and uh, finish running our rear bags we do indeed have as you can see our wiring here all of the valves and everything are all plumbed up so inside of the truck we have a bunch of battery chargers because we like to low ride but we do indeed have our AVS switch box already inside ready to go um, we need to finish putting these bad boys in so these are gonna go kind of like in the overhead compartment where you would put like sunglasses or whatever and I have to run all this little airline so that's the pretty much the last thing I need to do that and uh, I also plan on having where the original fuel filler you know like the side of the bed where the, the little hole in the door is at I'm going to mount the gauge there that shows tank pressure and here I'll just go over there oh yeah by the way these are the mirrors that I have now so these are what's gonna go on the Sierra look it's your boy Yee, what's going on Yee. okay but yeah so yeah like I said turn signal mirrors and they do indeed have the lights on the bottom called puddle lights so hopefully these plug and play and it's not super duper ghetto um yeah hopefully but like i said we're going to do that and inside of that fuel door you'll open it up to see a gauge that has the tank pressure as well as this air quick connect so like if i want to hook an airline to it to like fill tires or do anything of the sort it's also on the bottom this line goes to the very bottom of the tank so if you ever want to clear condensation you can just hook up an airline here and essentially put you know like a little sprayer attachment on your hose and it'll just blow it out you know like shh, and all your condensation will come out like that real quick and easy maintenance wise you don't have to go and get under it and stuff in order to clear my water traps i'll definitely have to get under it but I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That's why we installed the air ride, brothers. That way we can go up and down with it and make our lives easy. So yeah, let me get to swapping out these mirrors though. I'll let you know if they're all methed up. Regardless, I'm gonna make it happen. I ain't scared, boys. So I'll be right back. All right, boys, so you know how we do it. Quick money. We got them both changed out. I just wanna go ahead and show you guys because I was a little bit confused earlier. I'd watched a video. Oh, look, we got ourselves a little bug, boys about to kill him on on live youtube check us out oh nigga i mean bug it was a black bug to be fair all right so yeah we got to change it out with the quickness boys like i said 310 mils and the wire actually goes from in here all the way down to here so as you can see these the blue plug and the black plug that are closest to you guys is the ones that go to the mirrors there is another plug here so i'm not exactly sure what that's to but um those other mirrors, like I said, they had like that heated option. So they had another little small plug, but this truck is basic as hell, so it didn't have that. But um, yeah, so I mean, all we're gonna do is basically just put this back in here. Not like, like I said, the truck was a little ghetto already, so I actually have to like finagle it a bit. Oh yeah, and I think if I were to just give it one of these boys, it should. Oh yeah, that's how you work on these old trucks, I tell you. We almost got it, I feel. We're so close, brothers. We've almost got it. Yeah, there you go. Fits like a glove, eh? Now, I don't condone um, replacing the mirrors in the manner that I just did, but quite frankly, brothers, they're done. Look, ooh. So, with that being said, we can close it up and uh, I'll bring you around again. Now, let me show you what these mirrors look like, boys. So, I mean, clearly, you know, boom. So, you see over there, we got our red turn signals on the mirror. Boom, baby, red turn signals. And then, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to see some puddle light action 
I don't know exactly how you see puddle light action. Maybe when you unlock it. Yeah, there you go. See, we got our puddle lights underneath now, boys. And I know it's real dark, um, but uh, just know that we're rocking puddles. And then you can see the puddle light like through the opening over there. So it's clearly working. Hopefully we can catch it before it turns off. Oh yeah, see, look, we straight, it drops the puddle right here on the side, boys. Super gangster stuff. Like I said, I scored these mirrors for the deal. $30 here locally so bless that man and I'm gonna bless another man with these other mirrors you know as soon as he wants to pick them up but yeah boys easy as one two three we out here doing it and uh, yeah that's all it really is dudes so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up boys it was nice working with y'all but unfortunately I'm gonna lock old girl up see we got our security system boys so don't come trying to steal my stuff dude there you have it so yeah boys like i said this quick little update um the cutlass has a gang of issues with it um first off front main seal is out so every time i drive it it just spews oil absolutely everywhere and in doing that i'm pretty sure it killed the alternator because i was hopping it right oh yeah boys and i started hopping it dude so yeah, like I said, I started hopping that bad girl and it's a blast. It's so addicting. But I mean, in doing so, like the third lick, you know, I, I really get like some hang time and I think I hold the dump too long. Either way, that's beside the point. The car comes down, boom, and I smack the belly on the floor and the motor shuts off, right? Since my alternator don't work, and I'll, I'll usually take it out at night because it's hot as a mug. So it turned off, boys, and it did not want to crank no more. Battery was too low. So I had to get jumped by the homie. Shout out to Freddy. But uh, he's got a clean ass caddy too. I made a video on it. It's the white Fleetwood. He's the thumbnail. So I mean, y'all, you know, either way, boys. And uh, after all that said and done, it needs a little bit of carb work, nothing too major. And we should be juking after that once we get a new alternator, have it rebuilt. But like I said, this is going to be it for this one, boys. Quick little update video. I'll catch y'all in the near future. Once again, deuces. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe too, man. Don't be like that, boys. Oop.